Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday so far. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today we're going to create a card using a stamp and cut set from Hero Arts. It's probably been around for a long time, but I just got my hands on it, so I thought we would make a masculine card great for the guys in our life. And it's kind of um, unsentimented, so you, it could be for just because, or congrats, or or any occasion I would say not just birthdays but this creates an award banner the dice uh, the stamp of cut set is actually called winner number one winner um, the dies in here are three pieces we're gonna start by cutting each one of these pieces out twice now the smaller circle you can only um, you don't have to cut out twice but I thought since I was die cutting, I might as well cut everything two times um, in case I made an error. It's always nice to have backup. <laughs> the inks that I'm using are from Hero Arts too. I thought we would make a Hero Arts Try It Out Tuesday, but I have Corn Flower. It's real pretty blue, and then I have a blue reactive ink. I think the blue reactive ink may have came in a um, card kit or the, yeah, one of the Hero Arts card kit, but it's it's a real pretty blue. Uh, I'm going to start off by taking one of the smaller circles. We're going to adhere it in my mini Misty hair. Um, I'm, I like to add tape behind it and tack it down. Sometimes my magnet is just obstructive. <laughs> Sometimes it gets in the way, so I just prefer to, to um, tape down my card bases and my card stock in my Misty. Now we're going to ink up our first stamp. This is, says number one with corn flour. We'll stamp it a few times and then right below it. Let's, there's a lot of options in here for a masculine card. You have son, dad, grandpa, friend. Um, there's even a kid and a pet. <laughs> so I chose son for my card today and I'm stamping that with my blue reactive ink right below my number one. Kind of centering it in that circle. And that is all the stamping we're going to do. We're going to keep our banner white. Now you could, nice thing about this, you can die cut it out any color you like. You know, traditional blue would be pretty, but I'm going to have a pretty full background with color, so I wanted to keep this white so it stood out. Now we're going to add, create our little award banner. I'm going to add some adhesive to the very bottom of one of my little scalloped edges. And there is etched detail in here too, guys, so it really does look kind of like a ribbon. I'm adding both of my banners, kind of evenly spacing them. And then our second um, piece here we're going to pop up with foam adhesive. This is going to line directly over our existing piece, kind of covering up the, the beginning portion of our fishtail banners. And it's going to cause um, some dimension too. This actually creates a really clean um, award banner. Now once we have this done, we're going to go ahead and add our number one sun. Now, I thought it was just a little, it, it's, it's white, and white's nice, but it's just a little too white. <laughs> so I'm going to bring in my Infinity Circle dies, find a die that's slightly larger than my number one sun circle, and then we'll take some Silver Mirror cardstock. This is from, the one that I'm using is from uh, Spellbinders, and it's, it's really nice when you die cut it out. I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine, and we're going to mat our number one sun on our Silver Mirror cardstock. We're just going to directly adhere it. So I'll grab my tape runner, add some tape behind it, and put these two together. It's just going to leave a little silver ring. It's going to add a splash of shine, and it's also going to give it a real finished look. Now, if you don't have to use a silver mirror, you could actually use colored cardstock if you want. I think the, I think it's the nautical would look really pretty too. We'll pop this up, add this to our award banner. And our little award is good to go. Love the way this turned out. Now for my background, we're keeping it pretty simple. I have some printer paper. I trimmed it down to three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And then we have five pieces of cardstock. All of these are hero hues. I kind of went, went through my swatch book here. And so I can tell you the colors that I'm using. My first color is Glacier or no, Arctic, sorry. I'm getting 
my hero hues and my spellbinders cardstick uh, cardstock mixed up. <laughs> this is this is Arctic, um, and if you guys haven't tried Hero Arts cardstock, I think you will be very impressed. The weight of it is fabulous for not just die cutting but for card bases too. Now, using the grid lines on my mat, these are one inch strips of the colored cardstock, one inch by four and three quarters. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Arctic line that up in the middle of my panel and then we'll add our second color below it second color is periwinkle and then we'll add our craft color it's called sand on right on top this is going to evenly space these strips on that panel and it should fit beautifully and i'm trying trying to get these straight so i don't have to do much trimming obviously i'm going to have to trim the right side but the top there is a little bit of white overhanging. Now, I used printer paper, but maybe a thin cardstock would work maybe even better because the printer paper is actually creating um, a bend to my panel. I'm not worried about that, only because we're going to pop it up with some um, a background of fun foam. So once we trimmed it, we're going to bring back our larger Misty this time. We're going to tack this down inside, and then we're going to do a little bit of heat embossing on our panel. I'm kind of I'm kind of playing around with my placement. The background stamp that I'm using is from Hero Arts. It's it's called the Sun I think it's called the Sunburst. Let me see. It's called the Sun uh, Sunray bold print. And I want the middle of the Sunray to be more towards the right, upper right. So I'm kind of playing around with my placement until I'm happy because I'm going to place my award the circle part of my award right in the circle part of my sunburst or my sun rays so i'm just kind of scooting it over this way you'll be able to see some of the sun sun rays and i have a, a center point i think this is going to look fabulous my the rubber stamp's not indexed so i'm just going to remove my plastic sheet and we'll pick this up with the lid of my Misty. And then of course I always, always, I don't know why I do this. I always forget to remove my mouse pad for my background stamps. So I'm counting. We have um, five up, two to the left. We'll just recount on the base of our Misty here. Maybe six up. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's six up to the uh, to the left <laughs> we're going to treat our background with anti-static powder bag and we're going to ink up our sun ray background stamp with versifying onyx black ink if you like the watermark look i think this looks fabulous but since there's no other white on my background i thought we would do a little bit of heat embossing with white embossing powder so i am going to go ahead and ink it up one more time this way we get a good impression. I'm going to bring in my little pressing tool. It was a gift. And if you guys are interested in having a little tool press, it's great for your, your wrist too. Um, I'll link it down below. But I think this looks fabulous. I'll bring in my white embossing powder that has um, release paper from my foam squares all packed in it. Um, when I make a card, it's so funny. I'll put my little drawer next to me and continue on with my card. And I lent my girls my little Fun Stabbers Journey trash bag. And so I have to put my little trash pieces in a little pile. And sometimes I don't have the patience for that. So I'll flick, <laughs> I'll flick them on my desk. And that's how they end up inside um, my embossing powder drawer there. So I melted my embossing powder. Next, we're going to add our foam um, behind it. This is a double-sided foam sheet. We'll remove the release paper here. Um, well, let's grab our card base. Our card base is a standard A2 size card base. And then this is gonna go in the center. We are gonna have a white border, which is nice. I went ahead and placed that on my card base. And then we'll just remove the release paper uh, off of our little award piece. You can see how I'm just flicking them all over. And I'm sure I made a few more in my white bossing powder. And this is gonna go directly over the circle that is on our sun ray. Love the way this looks. Kind of a very simple card, but a definitely masculine card, I would say. And you guys could switch it up and create a feminine card if you wanted to by switching out the colors. I'm going to add a few of the Studio Katya uh, iridescent stars. Just 
for a little extra something. And then that finishes my card for Try It Out Tuesday, guys. Thanks for joining me. Have a lovely day. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.